Good day everybody, it's Christy from OK Keto. So today I'm gonna to do a bonus video. Uh, I've been kind of reluctant to make this because I know a lot of people that do keto do not use or like to use sucralose, but I figured there's a lot of videos on my channel where some people can use it and some people can't, so why not? Um, I've been requested to do a donut truffle and that's what I'm gonna to do today. So this is how I'm gonna do it. I have a half an ounce of cream cheese I soften it by putting it in a little metal bowl. When I preheat my dash, I just set it on the dash and let it bring my cream cheese to a smooth consistency. I have one large brown egg I went ahead and whisked in this ramekin. It's up to room temperature. We're going to do one and a half tablespoon of coconut flour. One tablespoon of Swerve confectioner. I combine those on a plate and then this is what I'm going to use one teaspoon of Jordan skinny syrup the glazed donut and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract the glazed donut syrup and the vanilla extract I put on top of the coconut flour and the swerve confectioner about 10 minutes before I'm going to make these I let that absorb in there really good kind of dry up mix it around the coconut flour and the swerve is going to be a carrier for the syrup and the vanilla extract. Again, if you do not use sucralose on keto, this, this isn't going to be for you. But for you that do, you might want to try this. My daughter says it's really good. It's like a donut. You kind of want to eat it when it first comes out, when it's nice and warm. So this is how I'm going to do it. Here's my cream cheese. I'm going to add all of my dry ingredients now that the syrup and the vanilla extract has been dried up in there. And I'm going to just stir it a little bit. Get those flavors mixed in with the cream cheese. Again, um, I know a lot of people do not like to use sucralose. That's why a lot of my recipes, you will not find me using the skinny syrup, but there is some of us that do use it. So that's why I'm putting this out. Plus I've been asked probably about 10 times to make a donut one. And this is the easiest way for me to come up with a donut one. I have a few other recipes that are in the making right now that will not be using those syrups and use a little bit better ingredients or ingredients that more people could use I should say. So there I added the whisked egg. Again I brought the egg up to room temperature. It just works better for me that way. And I really am going to blend this pretty good. As I'm stirring it, I'm going to press down on it to get all the lumps from the flour out as I can. And again, my dash waffle maker has been preheated. Because that's what helps me smooth out my cream cheese. And here is what it looks like, like a muffin batter. This will make two, so I'm gonna pour half of it into my dash waffle maker. And just spread it pretty evenly over the grates. Make sure those are covered. I'm gonna close this. And when it's to the consistency I like, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it on a cooling rack. You could make a glaze to add to the top of this uh, with your powdered swerve um, if you would like a glaze. But the glazed donut flavor really does give you that glazed taste. And like I said, my daughter really liked it when it first came out and it was hot. But because I did not want condensation before she got over here to eat it, I did go ahead and place it on my cooling rack. So when I have two of them made and plated up, I'll come back and show you what they look like. 
again I'm just gonna throw this in there as a bonus video today um, there was one already uploaded but I've had this requested several times and I thought I'd give it a try my daughter really enjoyed it and she thought I should go ahead and upload it to the channel so I will be back when I have these plated up here it is plated up what I did was I took one tablespoon of swerve confectioner and added to it one teaspoon of really hot water mixed it around really good put it on a plate and then dip the tops of these in that for the glaze but the glazed donut flavor comes out great in these. I really don't think it needs a glazed topping, but that is what I did if you would like to try that. Like I said, I really don't think it needs it. My daughter likes to eat these warm. She says they taste just like a donut when they come off warm. She always stuck her donuts in the microwave for a few seconds to get them warm, so that's just the way she prefers to eat her donuts is warm. This concludes today's video um, for the bonus. Thanks for watching, and if you give this a try, let me know down in the comments how you like it. Have a good day.